work that he's done. Brian's got a lot of experience with research, clinical research informatics, and I think he actually has a very complex job here at the DCRI managing a lot of the complex informatic needs for our industry work, but also for our uh, investigator-initiated work. And um, throughout the short time I've been at the DCRI, I've seen some wonderful improvements, and I'm sure there's the, the best is yet to come with all of the new um, capabilities that um, Brian and his team are, are working to provide to us. So I want to give us a, I'll give a warm welcome, Brian, and um, and 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 I'm going to actually ask you to hand, handle the mic at the end. Unfortunately, I've got to leave. Um, and then two two announcements. One is the texting again doesn't open up until about 45 minutes into the talk. Um, and then two, there'll be um, a reminder for a special presentation next Thursday. Lord Ajay Kakar from the University of College of London will be coming, hosted by um, Chris Granger, and will be presenting some of their work that's um, that's that may be a very of interest to a lot of people here. So, thanks. Great, thank you um, for the introduction. It's a nice chance to um, get back to research conference this year and talk about some of the work that's happening around clinical research informatics, broadly within the field, um, things that are happening here at DCRI, and around many of the research projects that you all are directly involved with. So um, the different topics that are teed up for this discussion are starting with a little bit about what is informatics. I'm not sure I could tell you how many different meetings I've gone to where we start off by somebody saying, so can you tell me what informatics is and what do you guys do and when should we call you? Um, so talking about the field and its evolution as a discipline and also as a functional group or a group that offers services is a place that we'll start. Then we'll um, spend a little time looking at different project examples, because it's best to talk about, I think, informatics in light of real world projects that we get involved with. And then a few examples of where we might um, end up next year. What are some of the projects that are starting to take root now um, that we should pay attention to? So on the first to hear about what is informatics and how is the field evolving, it's. Uh, it's probably only the Supreme Court um, that could help you stand in front of a research conference and maybe compare pornography to informatics. But the idea that it's really hard to describe, but you know it when you see it, and have the Supreme Court think that that's the appropriate rule to use um, when describing uh, you know, something of interest. So in the idea that um, it's really hard to describe sometimes what informatics is, but we often talk about, well, it's not that. It's not a data management activity. It's not an IT activity, a statistics activity. It's some of the things that hang out in the gray area between them. And how do you characterize those things? Fortunately, we're not the only space that has had this issue of um, being able to communicate exactly what our product At BASF. We don't make the sunscreen, we make it stronger. We don't make the helmet, we make it tougher. We don't make the bridge, we make it more durable. We don't make the car, we make it more colorful. We don't make a lot of the products you buy, we make a lot of the products you buy better. BASF, the chemical company. So we spend a lot of time um, in the back office of different projects and working on different um, processes or tools or research methods that need to be brought to bear on a particular research program. So there's a lot of emphasis within um, the domain of informatics in what are the research objectives, what are the scientific goals of a project, and then what are the capabilities that could be brought to bear to impact those goals. It's not... Um, just a DCRI or Duke-oriented phenomena about um, an emerging domain, how do you define it, how do you describe it for people. This is something that's really played out across the entire field of informatics, in particular around clinical research. This was back in 2008. Um, think about the beginning of the CTSA program for the NIH. There was now a number of informatics groups across academic research organizations that had been doing work Within a, um, within a part of their organization that now suddenly had to help contribute to the overarching infrastructure of research to raise the capabilities for all of the investigators at those institutions. And you can see just from this graph that illustrates the growth in NIH um, RFAs 
that had some informatics requirements specified in them. So this was a field that not only was um, kind of growing within the academic research world, but was being recognized by having concrete requirements or needs to articulate what was happening um, to support the informatics needs for a particular grant um, from an NIH funding perspective. As with most new, new domains, and particularly a, um, a domain that really brings together lots of different disciplines, the idea of how do you define what's the scope of that domain and what are the scopes that overlap with the ones around it has been a real challenge. And so not only in the discussions here as we talk about projects and who might be doing what, but across the field of informatics, how does that fit with other disciplines that already have large, mature, robust parts of academic research? So there's been an awful lot of um, evolution around this space of helping people to understand and really for the field itself to understand what is this domain of clinical research informatics and how does it play out within a research program. Specifically within clinical research as part of the translational continuum, it's had a fair amount of, um, of development. So this is a place where we're going to spend a little bit more time uh, in describing in more detail. Maybe one of the most concrete milestones as a field has been board certification. So we now have um, physicians that are able to sit for um, a specialty within uh, clinical informatics. And that's a pretty um, major milestone for the field. Within our um, research programs that span this broad continuum of translational research, the bioinformatics activities, the things that are more related to the basic sciences and laboratory data and computations around that data is one of the more mature and long-standing areas of informatics. So bioinformatics um, is one of the more recognized and defined fields. How those things then play out in a clinical research context starts to change that shape a little bit. The data and the processes and the tools are very much directed at um, operations, the conduct of the research. The data that you need to get isn't necessarily machine-generated data. It might be data um, from physicians collected on patients or other observational methods that maybe weren't designed specifically to output that machine-readable data. So the idea of clinical research informatics as having a lot more of the um, methodology and social sciences and understanding of process and change management is something that um, is of particular challenge, I think, for the clinical research informatics space. 